All right, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode here on the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys are thinking about Madden NFL 24. Is it a good game? Enough changes, not enough changes. Things could be better, but obviously, in my opinion, things could be a lot better. But I like the presentation. I like the menus. Minus the rosters and everything like that. Still kind of feels like the same game, but it's gonna. It's football. I would just say try to make future Madden games as much as possible. Uh, similarly, like 2K, NBA 2K games, because that is going to be the way to go. They changed a few things. You know, things... I think it's heading in the right direction, but too slow of progression. But anyways, I can talk about that all day. This is part number two, and on this part two, we are going to jump right in. We're a quarterback. We got drafted by the San Francisco 49ers. Nick Fitzgerald continues his journey. My annual Nick Fitzgerald per athlete showcasing and series. It always feels like I'm naming my character Nick Fitzgerald, so I just kind of went with it, um, and it kind of has stuck. So let's get ready. It's week number one here in the NFL. We're taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. We don't like Pittsburgh up in here. And um, let's get after it. Let's do this. It matters now. I don't know if we're a starter. I don't know if we're a backup. Whatever the case. But we're number 16. Did not mean to take Joe Montana's number because that's a bunch of disrespects. But... I'm just going to say he gave us permission or whatever. All right. I mean, it looks good. You know, there are a lot of things that look good. What a scene that was. But now here we are a few days later on Sunday, looking at two teams with great expectations. A lot of things really do look good. I am going to have to play the franchise mode because that's going to be sick. And for this young rookie making his first NFL start, a moment he's been waiting for since draft day. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move All right, let's get it. with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards. Oh, we start now. And then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Into space at the that was a good pass. That'll line up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. But there you go, Charles, the first completed pass of his young career. And we expect it not to be his last. Very good to get the first one out of the way, though, as he begins his career. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down at seven. Operating from the gun, Fitzgerald flush to his right. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. As we both know, there's a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year. Kenny Pickett be having some luscious hair, bro. When things break down, as soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. I don't know who's open. Shit. They're blocked. Ah, uh, we, we didn't fumble. I'm going to hand the rock off to McCaffrey again. Going to go right up the middle, up that B gap. No, the A gap, sorry. No, oh, not the B gap. Oh, nice juke. You got to move forward, though. Too many, too many spin moves, man. I mean, I'm not really Brock Purdy, but all right. 
and pushing the ball downfield even more in year two as a starter with the 49ers. Oh, shit. I couldn't even see that for a second. Damn it. That flag accepted and it backs the offense. That was dumb shit right there. 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Touchdown, 49ers! George Kittle, a 15 yard touchdown grab. Your boy. To the season opener. Excellent start there. First drive of the season. Big time success putting it in the end zone. And remember, that was done without any real map of how to do it. In other words, the deeper you get into the season, you get game film to work off of. Ten Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He had the touchdown pass last drive to George Kittle. See what they can do here as they start out first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Fitzgerald throwing outside. McCaffrey's got him. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Nice. Another completion there, and you think about the draft back in the spring, and he's selected in the first round, getting the start here, as we mentioned in week one. It, it's got to be quite a whirlwind for a young quarterback. Absolutely, because going in the first round... Not really what I want to happen. Many teams want you to get your feet wet first, you know, maybe just kind of hang out behind a veteran starter. In this case, though, he ascended right to the top role, and I know he's excited about the opportunity. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and ten. Down at the 31. Now this one complete on the slant round. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the 23, here's second and a couple. Looking to throw. Fitzgerald. Oh, I got fucked up here. Steeler here slow to get up for just the last thing you want to see here in the first quarter of a new season hopefully nothing serious we'll step aside for a moment from the gun on third down Fitzgerald that's complete to the tight end Warner get the flag he'll be taken down but he does have first Offense. down yardage Fitz. Uh, oh man, I'm getting fucked up. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. From the 27, Fitzgerald sliding out of the pocket. He's got the nice. Catches that winds up going for 38. One of the things that led this organization to commit to him as a starting quarterback as a rookie, his ability to keep his eyes downfield and make plays out of the pocket, able to see the receiver while on the move and complete a really accurate throw. Go, man. Go, go. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Add this game to the last one, and they move the ball over 50 yards in two plays. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And a good game here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way.
to throw on second down. Fitzgerald, and it's caught. Touchdown! Kyle Juszczyk from 10 yards out, and the 49ers are able to stretch out their lead. And he wasn't blocking or running it there. They tossed it to him. And you remember the good old days when the 49ers were riding roughshod in the league? They used their fullback and pass play. Their quarterback in this offense heading back out to the field. He had the touchdown pass on the last drive. Good stuff. Yeah, I got to see who my... Uh... I see my backup. Sorry, man. My, yeah, I'm, I'm starting. 75 overall. I guess I do have the best overall. Brock Purdy, 74. Trey Lance. I would say Sam Darnold should probably start, you know, third string over Trey Lance, but whatever. in this first half of action. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever was, whatever's in his mind right now, we probably... Here's a diving catch right side. It's another first down on what'll be a gain of 21 yards. I felt that one all the way up here. How about that big man laying out and making that catch? Yeah, that wasn't a 180-pound wideout. That was a tight end. Fuck. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. 38-yard line, second and 11. Another try after the first down sack. Fitzgerald. And this one's incomplete. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now. That's how oh. he has to continue to throw the ball. Down the throw on third down. That's bothered. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've got a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. And he's been... It's kind of a close game, more close than we think. Throwing to start the drive. Fitzgerald, slant route, connects with Debo Samuel. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we send you down to our left. All right. Offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. And one of the things we like to hit on every year are the new rule changes. And we got a few for 2023. A lot of procedural having to do with deadlines and roster construction. It was open, man. I had to pass to him. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I want to have something different. And I really wanted the special teams coach to be a little bit more involved. But I do understand why the league is doing it. They'll be able to promote safety. And it's hard to argue against that. What about, this is the other one, guys can now wear the number zero. We've already seen some make the switch. Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Swift, Braxton Berrios, amongst others. Yeah, and you know something? When you see those guys make that move, I don't mind that at all, all right? A little more expressionism for these guys. I love it. I just think we didn't go far enough. What about double zero, like Jim Otto used to wear, or Kenny Burrow used to wear? Let's add that back to the NFL jerseys. Now Samuel. And he is going to lose yardage here. Mm. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that car. Looking to throw on second down. Fitzgerald. Ah. And that almost their first INT of the ballgame. Had his sights on it. But he couldn't seal the deal. 
Uh, terrible towels in full force now as the Steelers get set to defend this third and long. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions down. You can get a field goal out of that. Oh, my goodness. Offense returns to the field. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense is sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. Oh, shit. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself, found a way to reset the downs, and advance the ball. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. 18 <laughs> yards, first down, Niners. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. Able to avoid him at the 40, and he'll get this pretty close to a first down as he's tackled at the Steelers' 38. The 71 yards rushing for him now to this point. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Back to throw. Fitzgerald will get this out right here to the camp. Wow. And they're going to have themselves another first down. Oh, no, dude. That flag on. Oh, nice. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. They'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. But this has certainly turned into a showcase game for what he can do on the ground because they're just continuing to give him chances to run it, and he's earning every additional carry by putting up positive yardage on each run. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. They'll try and run for it. This is huge check. I get the thought process. Third and short. Give it to the fullback. Let him bulldoze his way. But that means you're counting on your offensive line to win a lot of scrimmage, aren't you? Yeah, there was just a mass of bodies there at the line. Looked like more defenders than offensive guys. Winds up losing yardage. Uh, how about this? They'll change it at the line. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Touchdown, 49ers! Charlie Werner from four yards out. And the 49ers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. So now the Niners down by a field goal 50 seconds to go all right this is where winners come in man he's back to throw Good. Dancing to his left. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30 yard line. They come up now on second and two. He'll look to throw. 
Oh, should have been picked. God. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, they... What a way to win it, man. The CD always a little extra excitement for week one and one of our early... What a way to win that. Week one on a Sunday comes to a close... Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's got to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress. All right, that's a good way to get a W here. Starting out the season 1-0. and And you know what? That is going to also conclude part number two. So thank you for tuning in. We took on the Steelers and went up into their house and beat them. Let me, uh, we got a final grade of A, man. That was a good performance. Let's, uh, apply some skill points here. Upgrade our skills. Thank, uh, hmm. They're under pressure. Do that. That doesn't look like we can do much else, but it's okay. Did all right. Okay. Now we're advancing to week two. Who do we got for week two? L.A. Taking on the Rams. Named player of the week for the first time in his career. R.C., my guy, Cap, was the best player on the field this week, and it's that simple. But Channing, he's going to sit here and try to find a way to knock the kid, but the hardware doesn't lie. Men lie, women lie. Hardware don't lie, and Cap got him one. But it's a small sample size. There you go again. Still trying to find a way to discount that's a straight up naysayer. All right, guys. 31 27. We took, we, took, we took it away. We did it. We're 1 0 for the 49ers here in the organization. Overall is level 70. Oh, overall 75 and level 7. We're going to continue week two on part number three. <clears throat> so let's see how we do on that. I'll catch you guys on that part three where we're going to take on the Rams. Don't miss that matchup because I'm still not going to underestimate them, even though that they, the Rams and their team kind of look like they're going south. I'll catch you guys on part three of Madden NFL 24. Peace.